In the world of art, few names resonate as deeply as Rembrandt van Rijn. This Dutch master was born in the summer of 1606, in the bustling town of Leiden, the Netherlands. The ninth child of a well-to-do miller and a baker's daughter, Rembrandt Harmenzoon van Rijn, was not born into artistic nobility but his passion for painting was evident from an early age. He was apprenticed to a local artist before moving to Amsterdam, where he studied under Peter Lastman a renowned history painter. In his early 20s, Rembrandt began to make a name for himself. He was a prodigious talent, producing art that was as complex as it was captivating. His early works were characterized by bold brushwork and an innovative use of light and shadow, a style that was markedly different from the smooth, precise lines favored by his contemporaries. Rembrandt's approach to painting was revolutionary. He had an uncanny ability to bring his subjects to life to capture not just their physical likeness, but their very essence. His portraits were not mere representations, they were revelations, intimate glimpses into the souls of his subjects. This was the age of the Dutch Golden Age, a period of unprecedented wealth and cultural prosperity. In this flourishing milieu, Rembrandt's star rose swiftly. His portraits were sought after by the wealthy and the powerful, his biblical scenes admired for their emotional depth and dramatic intensity. His unique style and innovative technique revolutionized painting. He was a master of chiaroscuro, the use of strong contrast between light and shadow to achieve a sense of volume and depth. His canvases were a symphony of light and shadow, a dance of detail and darkness that gave his subjects a palpable sense of three-dimensionality. Rembrandt van Rijn, the master of light and shadow, was more than just an artist. He was a pioneer a visionary who dared to see the world in a new light. His works captured the essence of the Dutch Golden Age, immortalizing his subjects in breathtaking detail. His influence on the world of art is undeniable, his legacy immortal. Despite his talent, Rembrandt faced financial difficulties due to his extravagant lifestyle and unwise investments. His fame and fortune did not insulate him from the harsh realities of life. In fact, they may have contributed to his downfall. The story of Rembrandt's fall from grace is a cautionary tale, one that serves as a stark reminder of the fleeting nature of success and the perils of excess. Rembrandt was known for his lavish tastes. His home in Amsterdam was a testament to his love for the finer things in life. He spared no expense in adorning it with luxurious furnishings and an enviable collection of art and curiosities. This penchant for extravagance, however, soon took a toll on his finances. As his wealth dwindled, so did his popularity. His patrons, once enthralled by his artistic genius, began to distance themselves. The commissions that, did, that once poured in started to dry up. Rembrandt's financial situation rapidly spiraled out of control, leading him to bankruptcy. To compound his misfortune, Rembrandt made a series of unwise investments that further strained his finances. He purchased properties he could ill afford and made risky bets in the art market. These financial missteps painted him into a corner from which he found it increasingly difficult to extricate himself. In an attempt to salvage his situation, Rembrandt was forced to sell his beloved art collection. The sale, however, did not yield the expected returns. His collection, though impressive, was acquired at a time when the art market was flourishing. When he needed to sell, the market had slumped and his collection fetched far less than he had anticipated. His collection of art and curiosities was legendary, but it also left him deeply in debt. The irony of Rembrandt's situation was not lost on those who knew him. Here was a man who had dedicated his life to the pursuit of art, only to be undone by his own artistic passions. His love for art had brought him recognition and prosperity, but it had also led to his downfall. In the end, Rembrandt's fall from grace serves as a poignant reminder of the delicate balance between success and excess. His story is a testament to the fact that even the greatest talents can be undone by financial missteps and unchecked extravagance. Rembrandt's personal life was marred by tragedy. His marriage to Saskia van Eilenberg, a love that birthed countless masterpieces, was cut short as she succumbed to illness, leaving Rembrandt a widower at a tender age. This was a loss he never fully recovered from, and it reflected in his works, each stroke a testament to his longing. 
Years later, Rembrandt would experience another devastating blow. His son, Titus, the only one of his four children to survive infancy, passed away at the young age of 27. This tragedy was a double-edged sword, cutting through Rembrandt's heart and his canvas. His paintings from this period are imbued with an overwhelming sense of grief and loss, the shadows in his works growing deeper, the expressions of his subjects more melancholic. These losses had a profound impact on his art. Through the language of brush and oil, Rembrandt communicated his sorrow, making his personal tragedies immortal in each masterpiece. On October 4, 1669, Rembrandt van Rijn passed away in Amsterdam. A simple fact, yet one that carries an air of deep intrigue. The circumstances surrounding the death of this master artist, the man who gifted the world with his profound understanding of light and shadow, remain shrouded in mystery even after centuries. Rembrandt's life was a dramatic canvas, filled with the brilliance of artistic achievement, the dark strokes of financial troubles, and the poignant hues of personal loss. But it is his death, the final brushstroke on this canvas, that has proven to be the most elusive detail of his biography. Historical records offer scant information on the cause of Rembrandt's death. He was 63, a considerable age for the 17th century, but the exact nature of his final ailment is unknown. Some speculate he may have succumbed to a common disease of the time, possibly tuberculosis or the plague. Others suggest he may have been a victim of his own melancholy, worn down by the hardships of his later years. The ambiguity of Rembrandt's passing is further complicated by his financial situation. Despite the enduring value of his art, Rembrandt lived the later part of his life in financial hardship, plagued by debts and legal troubles. This has led some to theorize that he died in poverty, a tragic end for such a monumental figure in the world of art. Yet the lack of conclusive evidence leaves room for endless speculation. Could his death have been related to his financial struggles, or was it a natural consequence of age and the harsh realities of 17th century life? The answers to these questions remain as elusive as the play of light and shadow in Rembrandt's own masterpieces. The mystery of Rembrandt's death, much like the man himself, continues to captivate us. The lack of clear answers only adds to the intrigue, echoing the complexity and depth of his art. Some theories suggest he died in poverty and despair. A haunting thought indeed. Yet in the absence of definitive proof, the truth of Rembrandt's final days remains as elusive as the man himself. In 2019, the New York Times published an article that shed new light on Rembrandt's final days. This revelation, a document of immense significance, was none other than Rembrandt's will, unearthed after centuries of obscurity. It was not just a testament to the final wishes of a man, but a window into the life of one of history's most revered artists. The will was a treasure trove of information, offering a new perspective on the artist's life. It detailed an array of art and curiosities, a collection so vast it was almost unfathomable. This was not the inventory of a man mired in financial despair, but rather one who had a deep appreciation for the finer things in life. His collection was not limited to just art. It encompassed an assortment of rare items and antiquities, reflecting a passion that extended beyond the canvas. Every item, every curiosity, was a testament to his unquenchable thirst for knowledge and beauty. This discovery challenged the long-held perception of Rembrandt as a man burdened with financial troubles. It suggested that he was not just an artist, but also an avid collector, whose passion for art and rarities may have outstripped his financial acumen. But even more intriguing, the will hinted at the possibility that Rembrandt's financial woes might not have been as dire as once believed. Could it be that the artist had assets in the form of his extensive collection, which were overlooked by historians? This revelation has sparked a new wave of interest in Rembrandt's life and times. Historians, art enthusiasts, and amateur detectives alike are delving deeper into the mystery, each hoping to uncover a piece of the puzzle that is Rembrandt's life. The discovery of his will and other documents ignited fresh interest in the mystery surrounding his death. This story, like many in the world of art, continues to evolve as each new piece of information adds another layer to the enigma that is Rembrandt van Rijn. Rembrandt's legacy endures through his art and the ongoing fascination with his life. 
His genius, captured in the dramatic interplay of light and shadow, continues to inspire artists and art lovers alike. His paintings, etchings, and drawings are not just works of art, they are windows into the soul of the Dutch Golden Age, filled with raw emotion, depth, and an unparalleled understanding of the human condition. He was more than just a master painter, he was a collector, a historian, a lover of art in all its forms. His personal collection, filled with curiosities and antiquities, tells the story of a man whose passion for beauty and knowledge knew no bounds. Rembrandt's influence can be seen in the works of countless artists who followed in his footsteps, from the Impressionists to modern-day digital artists. His paintings hang in prestigious museums around the world, a testament to his enduring appeal. His impact on the world of painting and collecting remains undeniable. The mystery of what really happened to Rembrandt van Rijn may never be fully unraveled. The intrigue surrounding his life, his downfall, and the circumstances of his demise continue to fascinate us. Yet, while we may never know the whole truth, what endures beyond the mystery is the timeless appeal of his art. His mastery of light and shadow, his ability to capture the human soul on canvas, these are the true legacies of Rembrandt. His genius shines through the darkness of time, reminding us that some mysteries are best left unsolved.